Hey guys, it's Chloe, and I'm here today with celebrity hairstylist Ivan Torres from the Angelo David Salon in New York City. Thank you for coming today. Thank you for having me. So we are going to break down the 64th annual Emmy Awards Best Hair. So there are a lot of trends this year. We're seeing high buns, uh, loose waves. So Ivan, are these new trends, or what do you think? Well, there are old trends coming back. You always want to go and you know put stuff in the closet and bring it back out. Right. That's what's happening this year. And so, first of all, who is someone that you thought did the high bun just right? Hayden Panettiere. Nailed it. On the money. Um, it was just soft, classic, and she's just a beautiful girl herself, so she just, she owned it. So, if girls want to do the high bun themselves at home, there's this new thing called the donut. Have you heard about this? Yes. And some people say that you can also put a sock in your hair. How do you do that? When you put the sock in your hair, it depends. it's like a um, stocking, you know, one of the stockings, uh -huh. and you just have to turn it into a ball, uh -huh. ball it, and then just put it on top of your hair, and then you just wrap your hair around. So most girls, when you see that really high bun, like we're showing you right now with Hayden Panettiere, is it usually all their own hair? Because mm. they're, they're big buns. Yeah, sometimes it's their hair, really teased out uh -huh. and smooth out and then sometimes it's a you know a uh, fall. So. All right well, let's talk about the loose waves. Who is someone that you think did it right? Ah Sofia Vergara. Oh she is so gorgeous. She's like the mm, she gets that and that dress flavor. and that that mermaid oh, dress. She's gorgeous. She just, you know, it actually split later that night right on her butt crack and she actually tweeted a photo of it. Um, so tell me a little bit about um, why do loose waves work really well at something like the Emmys? Because it's, um, it's very, it's flattering, number one. Mm -hmm. Number two, if you kind of get cold and you're seated, it kind of gives you that right. less shawl effect to keep you warm. But it's, it's always a, some, it's a hairstyle that plays safe. You right. can never go wrong with loose waves. Now, I have to tell you someone that I just could not stand her hair. I love her, I hate her hair. Julianne Huff. <laughs> what'd you think? I, Star Wars helmet. That's okay. What, yeah, that's what I got from it. It, it, it just blended in. It didn't, it didn't hit that 1940 or 50s mark that they were going for. I don't know what they were going for. It right. was just wrong. So let's move on to one of my favorites, Heidi Klum. And I'm telling you, she has just been looking so much better ever since she split up with Seal. It's like her like revenge beauty breakup look. Um, so again, we're seeing loose curls on the carpet. Definitely, and she actually rocked, uh, she reminded me of Farrah Fawcett. Right. Like it was just flowy with the dress and all her hair was But it doesn't flowing. look like it was with a curling iron. How did she get that look? That look was blow dried. Um, like I said, blow drying and setting. What I, what I mean setting is putting your hair, wrapping it up, and sticking it into the head. Let's talk about some of these pixie looks that we saw. Jennifer Goodwin, uh, she is just rocking TV right now. Uh, you know, why do you think that this look works on her? I think it's the short hair. I think uh, she, it makes a statement on her. Because mm -hmm. if you watch her on the show, she's on, um, Once Upon a Time. Once Upon a Time. Oh, yeah. She oh, looks amazing. But how do you know if you can pull off that pixie look? Miley Cyrus is doing it right now. And, you know, I feel as though you have to have a really thin face, and she doesn't to be pulling this off. It, uh, you got to have a perfect oval shape. Okay. A pixie cut. Go, Which, as you can see right now, shape. she does, right? So, she, you know, even when she gets a little bit of chubby, yeah. you know, and she loses the weight, but it's still, it's just how it's done and how it's created. And it's the symmetry in it. And then also, you know, we talked about the high buns, the loose curls, but what are some other things that we're going to be seeing this fall for hair? You're going to be, you're going to be seeing a lot of French twists combined with the bun. Okay. It's called the balancing bun. Mm -hmm. It's coming back. Um, a lot, a lot of messy buns are out. Um, long hair, just flat out and straight hair. Uh -huh. um, and then darker or lighter for the fall? I always feel like when it gets a little bit colder out that we should go darker, like Jennifer Goodwin, Sofia Vergara, these women that are just rocking these darker dews. Yes? Yes, you okay. wanna go just a little bit darker and a little bit warmer for the fall. Because remember, you're not in the sun anymore and you're, you get a little pale, so you wanna add color. 
and instead of, you know, either you can do a self tanner, but the most important is the hair color. All right, guys, well, that was our beauty breakdown of the 64th annual Primetime Emmy Awards. And as always, Ivan, it was lovely to have you here. Thank you for having me, Corey. And so if everybody wants to know more about what you do, how can they find you? Well, you need to look us up on Facebook, like us at Angela David Salon. Very important, gotta do that. Or Twitter us at AD underscore Salon. All right, guys, so for all the latest news, gossip, style, beauty, and more, keep coming back to HollywoodLife.com. Thank you.